Hey everybody, it's Julian of Flow Graphics here and today I'm going to show you the basics of Adobe After Effects and how to learn the program within 5 minutes. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is learn how to import footage. This is really easy. You can just simply drag footage into the project window to import it. Otherwise you can just right click, click on import and then click on file. This also works for time lapses and image sequences. You can just simply click on the first image as part of the sequence. Make sure JPEG sequence option is turned on and just click on import and it will automatically compile that into footage for you. If you want to make a composition from your video, just simply drag the video into the timeline and it will just create a composition for you. This also works for image sequences, photos or graphics or any other types of things that you would import into After Effects. If you want to scale this footage, zoom out and you can see the bounding boxes of the footage when you select it on that layer. If I just click and drag, I'll be able to freeform change the size. If I hold Alt, I can uniformly change the size on two sides and I can also hold Shift and I will uniformly change the size of the video on all four sides. If I want to further change the scale options or the opacity or rotation of a clip, I can just simply click on the little drop down box next to the name of the layer and then go into transform controls and then we have all of our options here as far as position, anchor point, scale, rotation and opacity. We can also keyframe all these controls just by clicking on the little stopwatch here. So I could click on opacity, move the timeline forward a second and then drag down the opacity percentage to 0% and then it will automatically animate between those two keyframes making it start at 100% and then it fades out to 0%. We can then move around and change these keyframes however we want just by clicking and dragging to select multiple or just clicking on one keyframe to select only that. And we can move these throughout the timeline and it will automatically change those settings accordingly. You can also right click on a keyframe, go to keyframe assistant and change the keyframe settings to easy ease to smoothly transition a keyframe. If you want to change the blend mode of a layer, just simply click on the little toggle switches modes icon down here until it comes up with the word mode and the drop down and then we can just change whatever blend mode we want of that layer and it'll automatically apply that setting to that layer. If you want to change the speed of a clip inside of After Effects, it's really easy. Just go up to layer and then make sure you clicked on the layer first, go to layer time and then you can go to time stretch and then we can change the stretch factor we can change the exact time of the new duration of the clip we can use this to actually make a clip uh, appear slower or shorter and edit it however we want another thing to do is you can also duplicate and split clips within after effects i can hit ctrl d which duplicates a clip and then i can hold ctrl shift d and it will duplicate that clip except it will split it at whatever point my cursor is at at the timeline so you can see it split it here at around one and a half seconds to navigate through the timeline, you can click on the little bar uh, with the pictures of the mountains towards the bottom of the screen here to zoom in and out. Otherwise, you can also use the bar at the top of the timeline here by clicking and dragging on one side to zoom in and out. You can also use your scroll wheel in the main scene view to zoom in and out of your actual composition. And then when it comes to playing back your footage, the second bar underneath the zoom actually changes the sort of loop region. So you could make this two seconds long and then the program will only play those first two seconds or it will only render those first two seconds or however much you have highlighted with this bar here. If you want to add any effects or presets to your footage, you can just simply go to the effects and presets panel. There's a whole bunch of drop downs for different categories. Otherwise you can just type in the search bar here and add an effect directly to your footage. And all you need to do for this is just simply click on the effect click and drag it onto your timeline and then it'll automatically add that. If we want to disable layers, we can just simply click on the little eye icon on the far left of the layer to turn it off. And if we want to edit the settings of the effect we just added, we can just go to the effect controls panel when selected on that desired layer and we get all of the settings um, for that desired effect, for instance the blur here, and then we can just simply click on and on that effect by clicking on the little box that says FX. If you want to add any other sorts of elements to your scene like text and solid colors and things, right click on an open area in your timeline, click on new, and then you have a drop down here of a whole bunch of objects, so I could create some text. To start typing text you could just simply just type letters, um, and then in the characters window we can then change the font size, uh, what type of font and all the other settings to do with the text. To render a video in After Effects, just so simply go up to Composition and then click on Add to Render Queue. Then you can change all of your output settings here and then change your file location and everything else. And then when you're wanting to render, just click on the Render button here and it will automatically start rendering that footage. So that's it. Those are most of the basic tools on how to learn After Effects in under 5 minutes. Obviously, I didn't show everything in the program. It's a massive program with lots of tools. But if you learn the things I just showed you then, you'll be able to create a lot of different effects 
effects and edit your footage in a lot of different ways just using those simple effects and tools that I just showed you. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas for future videos or any tutorials you'd like me to cover, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe as well. So as always, everybody, I hope you have an awesome day. It's been Julian or Flow Graphics here. See ya.